I'm not a constitutional expert. I think uh, there are uh, that the current constitution the country has has some good parts. It, it has some parts that, from my own experience, in a number of places, and, and that I would would think would need shoring up. Um, but again, what what makes uh, what makes it work is do the majority of the electorate, the people of the country feel comfortable with and are willing to. Because the thing you have to understand is elections, elections are like traffic laws. What makes traffic laws work is not the fear that you're going to get a ticket and have to pay a fine. What makes traffic flow in a city well is that the driver in car A trusts that in most instances, the driver in car B will abide by the rules. So it, it, it's less what's specifically in a constitution than it is whether or not everyone involved in the process believes in, trusts, and abides by what's in the constitution. You know, for instance, you have a constitution, in your current constitution, guarantees freedom of press, guarantees freedom of association. Doesn't it? Okay. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. You can have the most perfect constitution on paper in the world, and if it's not adhered to or, or, or carried out, it's just that. It's a piece of paper. So, again, I mean, I know I'm going back to the same answer over and over. It's more the trust that the people have in the system and in each other than it is specific things like titles or, or what's in a constitution. But here's, here's the way I look at elections. If you have a media that is basically professional and free to report what information it gets so that people have broad access to, to all information, that that all of the candidates in, a, in, an, uh, in an election campaign have access to the media so they can get their messages out to people, that people feel they can go to the polls and cast their vote without fear of any kind of intimidation, recrimination, or whatever, and that at the end of the day, there are processes to ensure that the will of the people is expressed through that vote, will be respected by everyone involved, then the, then the environment's conducive to having an election. And assuming you have the money to buy the ballots and do all of the other housekeeping stuff, but the point is that if the environment is such that an election can, can, can go through the campaign, voting, and post-election phase peacefully, and people trust the outcome, and, and abide by the outcome, then that's, that's what's conducive to having an election. You can't really say, well, you know, that can, all, that can only be done in two years or that can only be done in six months. It depends on the will of people to do it.